Since he turned pro in 1996, Tiger Woods has a legacy that can't be matched. With his record of 106 worldwide victories and 15 majors, he's said to be the best golfer of our time. He's a tiger on the course, and apparently with the ladies too. In today's video, we'll be talking about what the future holds for him and the complications he's gone through because of all the surgeries that he's had. Let's get into it. To start with, fans are heartbroken over his latest statement. The entire sport world was shocked to learn that the star golfer's right leg is giving him a lot of trouble, to the point that it doesn't have much life left in it. At a news conference before the Hero World Challenge at Albany, Woods talked to reporters about what the future holds for him. Fans know that he has had some setbacks this year, but still, the 46-year-old is hopeful that he'll be able to compete in all the major championships of 2023. His passion is inspiring, especially since he hasn't fully recovered from a car car accident back in 2021 that hurt his legs. While he sounded optimistic, his fans are super worried because his injuries have been intense. The golf hero's goal right now is to play in all four majors and maybe one or two others, but he's not sure if his body can sustain his sporting career anymore. With his right leg almost out of commission, he's not sure what he'll do. We can't say for sure whether he'll be jumping back out on that golf cart anytime soon, but we know that losing him would be a big blow to the community. Now for his upcoming surgeries. It's not a secret that years of intense training have weakened the athlete. Plus, he's had so many surgeries over the years that he just can't keep up with the high-speed game of golf. <laughs> Jokes aside, there's only so much the human body can take, right? Fans got even more worried when he had to drop out of a charity event that was hosted to raise money for his TGR foundation. The plantar fasciitis in his right foot hurt so much that he had to leave. He's still a force to be reckoned with on the course, and we know that he can hit any shot that he wants to. The 15-time major winner said he was going to have two more surgeries in 2022, but refused to elaborate on it. This year, the pro golfer only competed in three professional tournaments, but his 47th place finish at the Masters in April showed that he's still one of the best. Even though he made the cut at the PGA Championship, he quit after 54 holes because he was too tired. He still made it to the next round at the Open Championship in St. Andrews. Coming up, Woods nearly lost his leg in the accident. Another shocking turn of events for the sporting world came when the player announced that he almost had his right leg cut off. Due to the severe injuries from his car crash, the doctors weren't sure if they should remove it or not. Luckily, they decided against the amputation, but advised the player to take it easy. Apparently, it was a 50-50 decision. If you know anything about the champion, you'll know that taking it easy just isn't a part of his lifestyle. He let his fans know that he's trying very hard to stay healthy and train at a high enough level to compete. The tiger of the course doesn't back down. When he started playing more often, his plantar fasciitis would start to act up. This would lead to inflammation in his foot, making it nearly impossible for him to stand. He resisted it for as long as he could, but had to drop out. Up next, he's planning on taking it slow before the PNC Championship. We all know that the player has had a few setbacks this year, but he's been able to work through all of them. This time, it looks like his injuries might be getting the better of him. Along with his partner, Rory McIlroy, he's still set to play against Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas in a 12-hole exhibition match on December 10th. He'll be able to use a golf cart in both that tournament and the PNC Championship, which he and his son Charlie will play on December 17th and 18th. Until then, he's made an important decision. He's going to take it slow, give his body some time to relax and do a lot of therapy. In golf, walking is an important part of the game, and the athlete thinks using a cart during a tour-level competition is demeaning. Even with his handicaps, he plans to get ready for the big competitions. He's hopeful that lightning will strike in a bottle, and he'll be up there in the running with a chance to win. He doesn't want to be a bitter old man, and doesn't want to have any regrets. He loves the game, and it's obvious that the game loves him too. Let's talk about his recent COVID scare. McElroy Roy recently told fans about a little shock that he and his teammate received. In an exclusive interview, he talked about playing a practice round at Balabunian right before the British Open and that he felt sick afterwards. He brushed it off as fatigue or stress. His symptoms got a little worse and he got a little worried, but still didn't think too much about it. He knew that his partner, Woods, had been going through a tough time with his training and he didn't want to let him down, so he decided to brave through it. But as fate would have it, he quickly understood that 
he had made a huge mistake. Later on that evening, Woods sent him a text informing him that he was shaking uncontrollably and had a temperature. This caused the poor guy to panic because his immediate thought was that he had infected his teammate with the coronavirus. Luckily for us, the teammates and the British Open, both of them got tested and the results came back negative. While we're glad that it wasn't anything serious, the player should have been a little more cautious about his health and everyone else's. We don't want a return of the virus. It was a bumpy ride for McElroy there, but all's well that ends well. Now, let's look at Woods' foot issues, previously unknown surgeries, and his future schedule. The superstar of the golfing world has absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain by continuing to compete for as long as he possibly can. At this point in his life, the only thing that should concern him is his contentment and joy. But his love for the game keeps reeling him back in. His chances of adding to his already impressive record seem to be decreasing right in front of him. Because of his injuries, he was unable to participate in the Hero World Challenge that was held in the Bahamas, even though he had been invited. His foot problems got even worse while he was preparing for the competition. His doctors are hopeful that it will take him at least a couple of months to fully recover before he'll be able to go back to his intense workout routine. The 15-time major winner is still having a really difficult time preparing for his first competition since qualifying for the Open Championship in July at St. Andrews. In his first comments to the public after being forced to leave the old course early, he expressed his optimism that he'd be back soon. Golf is his entire life, and he genuinely enjoys it. Even though he has assured his supporters that he'll be participating in the game in 2022, he doesn't know for certain if he'll be doing so in the following year. Finally, he still has no plans to retire. At the British Opens, the King of Golf was asked a question that has been at the back of everyone's minds. A gutsy reporter asked him very directly if he planned on retiring soon. Think about the many injuries that he's had over the years, the surgeries that he went through, and the physical therapy that keeps him in playing form. A normal person would have stopped, but we aren't dealing with just a regular human being, are we? Woods is known as the master of the game for a reason, and that is his love for what he does. He answered the reporter's question very lightheartedly and told him that he has no plans to retire anytime soon. He might have to reduce his schedule, but he's not going anywhere. We know that he loves competing and enjoys the sport with his entire being. He's been doing this for almost half of his life, and he plans on clubbing his way to more impressive wins in the future. He's been working extremely hard to get back into shape for his upcoming matches. The clock is ticking on his ability to play. It's common knowledge that putting strain on injuries causes them to worsen over time. We've seen how bad it keeps getting for the player. He isn't certain about the future, but he does know that he won't give up on the sport. That's a wrap for this video. Do you want to know more about the upcoming golf tournaments that the pro golfer would be competing in? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.